guys, welcome back to the Spiral Family and Garden. And today I am going to make some Italian dressing. And we're gonna spice it up a little bit. Um, we're going to be using a couple different spices into the mix. Um, first off, I have my fresh uh, basil, and there's also fresh um, rosemary in here. I had already had that in my garden. So I can, uh, you know, I just did some trimming and got rid of some of the seeds and stuff. So, and some of the flowers from the basil and the rosemary and got that ready to go. Um, to this, we're gonna add a bunch of stuff. We're gonna add some onion powder. We're gonna add garlic powder. fresh garlic to this because it might help us with the taste. Then we're going to add a bunch of paprika in there. Um, I am going to make it a little spicy today, so we are going to add some coin powder, but I'm only adding a handful today. Um, <coughs> watch out. I just got some that in my throat. Oregano. Parsley. And some of those are found in the Italian seasoning that I'm going to be using. But there's also other stuff too. So that's why I'm throwing in a bunch of extras that I like. You can do whatever you want. Okay, it's your sauce. Um, also going to add a heaping tablespoon, actually a couple heaping tablespoons of Dijon mustard. And actually, let's just throw the rest of it in here. So that is about a quarter of a cup. which Dijon mustard technically already has this in it, but I'm gonna add two tablespoons of mayonnaise, some avocado oil in here. I'm doing everything with avocado oil. We're probably gonna add about a cup. That's not even a cup yet. Oh yeah, we don't have our red wine vinegar. Red wine vinegar. Add a tablespoon. Add a couple tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. And we're gonna stir this. But if you take your chicken and you can cut however many you need at the time. I'm using, I don't know, I think I use like six, eight pieces of chicken. And you partially freeze them or partially unthaw them. So it makes it easier for you to chop these guys up into little pieces like this. Just like that. Take it, throw it into a bowl, 
And since this is already, you know, part of the chicken too, we're just gonna mash up three cloves of garlic. about a cup to two cups of the sauce and go ahead and put it all over your chicken. And yes, I am using my hands. It's okay, it's not gonna kill you, okay? salt and go ahead and season your salt with salt. And fresh cracked pepper. Stick this in the refrigerator for 24 hours. Clean up your mess. your knife that you use for veggies. Cut it all the way out. Get all the seeds out of there. This can actually be one piece. So you want to stick it into your bowl. All right, stick all these guys, chop them all up, stick them all up into the bowl.
then when I was working, I already put the pepper in here and I already put um, the salt in here too. So if you guys want more spice, you can put more spice in there, you know, whatever you wanna do. So I'm gonna marinate this for 24 hours. You marinate this for 24 hours in the refrigerator. Keep your chicken away from everything else, you know, if you're that concerned. Marinate this. I'm gonna put some more. Go. Make it spot. Gotta make it spot.
All right, so everybody's grill is different as far as like how many, um, how long to put it on the grill and everything. Um, beef, I mean, probably even chicken probably will take an hour. Um, mine goes on high um, and it still takes an hour. So I would just play with your settings and see what works best for you. Um, the pieces, vegetables are kind of hard when it comes to doing skewers. If you want to spend time in putting it on the skewers and you know all that stuff, that's fine. I'm just going to lay it on the sheet and they come out just as wonderful as they do on the skewers. Um, I've been using baking sheets a lot with my grilling and the reason being is because it works better. Um, it tends to not fall through the little greedy things, you know, because they're like this wide. So that's why I've been using these a lot and it still comes out really, really well. Um, I've been baking on my grill. I've been doing all kinds of things on my grill. So, um, which is kind of cool because like, it's a different flavor and it's, you know, a hot season, you know, things like that. It's the summertime. Hi guys, so I don't have a picture. Um, actually my uh, barbecue ended up smoking and I had some problems with uh, vegetables burning and stuff like that. So this one is a short one and I'm sorry I don't have the most wonderful uh, picture for you for the end or anything like that. But the recipe was still good. The chicken didn't burn, but the vegetables did. I ended up throwing a bunch of stuff away, my sheets away. It was a big, ginormous mess because I got into editing and doing some other things, which I should have been watching my stuff. But as you know, it's like anything else. Um, we all get into stuff, things happen. Um, this is what happened to uh, me, and I usually don't do that stuff. But I have a lot of stuff going on. Um, this weekend I was trying to um, fix and do and all this stuff so um, I'm so sorry I don't have a picture but the recipe is still good it still works it tastes wonderful um, I always get so many comments when I'm working um, about how it smells and some of my co-workers taste it and stuff like that and they love it So anyway, thanks for watching today's Food is for Our Home and Garden. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And um, please keep inspired to do something wonderful in life, no matter what it is. Inspire other people to do something wonderful in theirs. We'll see you next time on Food is for Our Home and Garden.